What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this dreary Wednesday. I'm doing pretty good myself. I come across another one of these messed up stories right here of a woman kidnapped, enslaved, locked up in a dog cage used as a sex slave. Yeah, that's what it says here. Georgia woman rescued after being locked up in a dog cage as sex slave. You understand? This is sick. And this is happening, you know, to so many women, you know, um, abroad that's, you know, being snatched up off of the streets, you know, coming up missing and nobody never see them or sometimes even hear from them again. But every now and again, we get one of these rare cases where they are rescued, they are found or whatever, you know, the most high decides to bless them to deliver them out of the trouble that they are in. Now, to get into the story right here, it says a 20 year old woman has been rescued after she was kept captive as a sex slave at a home in Georgia, where she was locked up in a feces filled dog cage and beaten, okay? And this is the house right here. This is so filthy. You know what I mean? This is the house. To continue, five people were arrested Tuesday after a former resident went to Richmond County property to retrieve some belongings and discovered the terrifying victim. WRDW reported, upon entering the room, he observed an unknown light brown skin female that was naked, beaten severely, and currently locked in a dog cage. An incident, well, excuse me, an incident report cited by the outlet states. Sean Powell, 32, one of the residents told the man that the cage woman was her whore, according to WJBF. She stole a bunch of money. Well, excuse me, let me say, she stole a bunch of stuff from me. So she is going to be my sex slave and I am going to pimp her out until she pays it, okay? And uh, like I said, this is the house right here. Uh, what we know about the suspects in the kidnapping case. I'm gonna show you these guys, but here's one of them right here, okay? I guess this is Shanna Powell, okay? Who says that this woman stole a lot of stuff from her and she captivated this woman, locked her in a sex, well, uh, a, a dog cage and kept her of a sex slave. You know, oof, how filthy is this? You know what I'm saying? Now you're asking to go be somebody's sex slave, okay? Where you going? They got women just like you. <laughs> they gonna look at you and do the same thing to you probably. But to continue here, the man said the woman was naked and pleaded for help. He told cops, that he overheard someone at the home saying that several people were on the way to have their way with the woman, police said in their report. Deputies went to the House of Horrors on uh, Nelly Drive about 10.20 p.m. Tuesday and ordered everyone to come out. DeMichael's Deshaun, 24, one of the occupants, then stepped out and told police that there were several other people inside along with three pit bulls, okay? How filthy is this, man? In conclusion here, um, it says, when deputies entered, they came across an empty dog cage in the feces field home where the victim was discovered lying on a bed with multiple injuries to her face. One of her eyes were severely swollen and bruised, WJBF reported. In addition to Powell and Dawson, police arrested Ajinkla, Figueroa, 29, Savannah, Piazzi, 18, and Dawson Weston, 19. They were all charged with kidnapping, false imprisonment, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm or knife during the commission of a crime. Dawson also was charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, okay? Yeah, so let's look at these losers. Now, here's uh, Angelica Figueroa, you know, looks like a nightmare out of hell, you know, 
she looked like she owned something, you know, and uh, here's a, uh, these all look like meth fiends, Savannah Piazzi, and to Michael D Dawson, to Michael Dawson, okay, uh, nasty looking bunch, and Dawson Weston, okay, nasty looking bunches, you know what I'm saying, of pieces of shit that would do this woman that way. You know, whatever this woman did, you understand what I'm saying? I can guarantee you they felt the need to punish her for doing and, and mistreated her. And more than likely, they was running with this woman. This woman was running with them. Well, how is it any bad of what she did as to what you motherfuckers have done to her? You deserve the same punishment or worse. You want to know the truth about it? To enslave somebody and treat them like a sex slave you know what I mean, put them in a cage full of dog shit, you know what I'm saying, and, and whatever else, you know, then you want to have your way with her, that's sick, this is what society is now, people, so, like I always tell you, watch your backs when you're out here, watch who you're dealing with, you know, we adults, but every now and again, we still need a little guidance, you know, to keep us up on our, you know, our uh, toes, you know, to be careful, and worry of certain people in our lives. You understand what I'm saying? That's all I got on this one, people. I want you to tell me what you think about this particular situation. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.